Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. My name is Sibu, as Regina has said, and today I'll be just giving a brief summary of what we've been doing so far since, um, since phase one till today. Um, I'll just to like I would like to thank everyone for making it today. Um, from <laughs> Jerry, I'd like to thank Georgina for being patient with us. I would also like um, to thank our managers for joining us today. We really appreciate it. I would like to thank our assessors for also joining us today and everyone for making it till this far. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my team integrated for being the best. Special <laughs> mention. Um, so I'll just give a brief summary of what we've been doing so far. So from phase one, I remember when you got here on our first day, um, we were instructed to form groups. So what we did was to come up with our own special name or unique name where we had to um, kind of like interpret or come up with values of what we stand for. And for me, that really stood out because that's when we got to define what a leader should be or what a, le a leader should do in a, in a team set up. Um, we also spoke about motivation, which we spoke about it a lot in phase two, where we kind of like as, uh, um, elaborated what it means and what it's about. So when it came to motivation, we spoke about um, the fact that it's your choice as an individual um, and that you're also responsible for your own motivation. And it comes about um, when you're in a welcoming environment. Um, we also spoke about how supervisors should be able to motivate their team members in that setting and for them to be able to acquire that or establish that. We spoke about team dynamics, um, we looked at different religious entities amongst your team members, their personalities, their ethics, conflicts, equality mm -hmm. and power and their values and what they also stand for. So with regards to motivation, we, um, we looked at two models, which we spoke about briefly um, earlier on today, um, which was Maslow's hierarchy of needs and theory, and also has big motivation theory. And we saw that everyone is motivated in a way to serve in their team. Um, we kind of like grouped um, these two theories in with regards to what they mean and how people portray them in a, um, in a setup or in a team setup. And Georgina went on um, and explained, because we asked questions about how do we motivate um, our fellow colleagues at work. She elaborated that motivation and giving and incentives, those are two different things. Um, I did not know <clears throat> that, but now I know. So when we get those chickens at work, those are incentives, not motivation. <laughs> 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 um, we also went on and looked at leadership further in terms of um, coaching and mentoring. And yesterday we touched on the GROW model, which is a model that a, a coach or a mentor both can use in that setup where they're able to kind of like guide their mentees or their protégés um, to find what the meaning of their goal and how to achieve it and also <laughs> define the time frame. We also spoke about um, time management where we looked at time boxing. Um, I've, I've, Georgina played a video, an uh, Elon Musk video, where we kind of looked at how he manages his time. That was also an important, or it's an important skill of a leader, that, or a leader that should have. Um, and what else did we speak about? We also spoke about conflict yesterday. Um, that was very important because it's, it's, a, it's a problem that we all face at work. Um, we've looked at what conflicts are, what, how they come about, um, and we, there's a graph that we used to kind of like see if you have a conflict with a person, you know where you are in that zone, if you are in a, a conflict handling zone or a conflict um, escalation zone and how you can be able to kind of like um, sort out your conflict with the person you're having a conflict with and find a way forward. But all in all, a lot was said, a lot was learned, and we are truly grateful for this opportunity. Thank you so much. See you later. See you later. Thank you for doing a summary um, of the things that we looked at. That was fabulous. Can I just ask for yourself, of all the things that we looked at, 
what was something that you could feel a little bit of a change in yourself as a result of your learning? Um, Can you com comment on something that helped you maybe change a little bit or see a little bit differently? Anything in particular? Um, okay, what stood out for me was uh, time management skills because I know I'm someone who sucks at that. <laughs> um, so doing these exercises like um, coming up with your time logs, um, it's, it helped me so much. I got to see or identify my time wasters. I got to know how much time I spend on a certain activity and stuff like that. And I've got to um, kind of like plan properly um, my, my week, my month or whatever I, I want to achieve. Um, it, and, in that um, specified period of time. So that was what stood out for me the most. Beautiful, thank you very much. Give us some sugar.